Today I'm trying out my new Hightower V2 that I just bought over the weekend and over the week actually. Um, and the reason I bought it is because I really want to try out the 29er platform not just on a demo bike and there is no demos happening anyway so it's not like that's really an option. <clears throat> but uh, basically it's a C um, frame not a CC uh, but the guy basically put in reserve hoops in um, XX1 XX1 drivetrain and then also the 36 the brand new Fox 36 so it actually weighs right around what my 5010 weighs with the aluminum rims uh, but that is a smaller bike it is a CC frame um, so I mean yeah you take that into account plus it does not have a 36 it has a 34 um, I haven't really done any changes to the bike the Two things that I think will be a problem for me right from the get-go is that DPS shock. I, I, I at least would like to get a DPX2 or maybe an X2. We'll see. Uh, float X2. And then the brakes. These are the G2R and all the TLR, RS, all this stuff is kind of garbage because you cannot adjust the bite point. The only way you can do that is bring the lever out and I hate that stuff. Plus it does not have the bite power nearly as close to my guide R uh, SCs on on my 5010. So that's definitely, and I have crashed on it already because of that once. Uh, because the brake was set up too close and I like to keep my hand like this and go with the brake so it locks up the tab before my finger gets uh, basically pinched in. And my finger got pinched in and the bike did not stop. So, yeah let's uh let's go down cindy and then feel the bike out i had too low pressure in the rear shock um and i pumped that up um, after one lap of uh the big creeks and then let's see how it's gonna do there are too many hikers i came in kind of late today so that's just expected unless you show up really early and right now it's too cold so Let's see how it does. I'm not gonna push her too much, obviously, because I'm just getting used to the bike. I'm kind of like getting a feel for it. <clears throat> yeah, right away, the bike rolls over stuff way better. The fork is still kind of like too flush for my taste, but it's all right. It's not bad. It's not diving in too much where I'm having an issue with it. And the brakes are just trash, man. I have to really grab on them for them to work. Let's see how it goes. Good morning. Good morning. Kind of scared those guys up here. Thank you. Hi. Good morning, thank you. Let's see how it does in the rock garden. With a skirt shine. Let it get coming to your left. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you. the wheels just roll over the holes so much better but it does take a little bit more push to get it into a turn or whatever let me see if the camera is still recording it is okay i just heard a little beep i don't know if it was from a hiker or something let's keep going it's doing really good i'm not even pushing on it and i think i'm getting a really good time on it shock is kind of bothering me like how like I'm not even pumping in too much and it just dives in too much so I just need more compression on it running like 175 pressure on it already oh shit the rebounds too fast also 